The ECCV Best Paper Award goes to Princeton Team. They developed a new end-to-end -end trainable model for optical flow. Their method beats state-of-the-art architectures accuracy across multiple datasets and is way more efficient. They even made the code available for everyone on their GitHub. Let's see how they achieved that. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. The ECCV conference happened last week. A ton of new research paper in the field of computer vision were out just for this conference. Here, I will be covering the best paper award that they gave to the Princeton team. In short, they developed a new end-to-end -end trainable model for optical flow called RAFT, Recurrent All Pairs Field Transforms for Optical Flow. Their method achieves state-of-the-art accuracy across multiple datasets and is way more efficient. First, I will quickly explain what optical flow is. It is defined as the pattern of apparent motion of objects in a video, which, in other terms, mean the motion of objects between consecutive frames of a sequence. It calculates the relative motion between the object and the scene. It does that by using the temporal structure found in the video in addition to the spatial structure found in each frame. As you can see, you can easily calculate the optical flow of a video using OpenCV's function. It just takes a couple of lines of code to generate it in a live feed. I linked the tutorial from OpenCV in the description if you'd like to try it out. It is super cool and really useful for many applications, such as traffic analysis, vehicle tracking, object detection and tracking, robot navigation and much more. The only problem is that it is quite slow and needs a lot of computing resources. This new paper helps for both of these problems while producing even more accurate results. Now let's dive a bit deeper into what this paper is all about and how it's an improvement from current state-of-the-art approaches. They improve the state-of-the-art methods in four ways. First, it can be directly trained on optical flow, instead of requiring the network to be trained using an embedding loss between pixels, making it much more efficient. Then, regarding the flow prediction, current methods directly predict it between a pair of frames. Instead, they optimize their computation time a lot by maintaining and updating a single high-resolution flow field. With this flow field, they had to use a GRU block which is similar to an LSTM block, in order to refine their optical flow iteratively, as the best current approaches do. This block allows them to share the weights between these iterations while allowing convergence using their fixed flow field when training. The last distinction between their technique and the other approaches is that instead of explicitly defining a gradient with respect to an optimization objective using backpropagation, they retrieve features from correlation volumes to propose the descent direction. All these improvements were done using their new architecture. It is basically composed of three main components. At first, there is an encoder that extracts the per pixel features from two different frames, along with another encoder which extracts features only from the first frame in order to understand the context of the image. Then. Using all pairs of feature vectors to generate a four dimensional volume using the width and height of both frames. Finally, they use an update operator which recurrently updates the optical flow. This is where the GRU block is. It retrieves values from the previous correlation volumes and iteratively updates the flow field. Just look at how sharp the results are. While being faster than current approaches, They even made the code available for everyone on GitHub, which I linked in the description below if you'd like to try it out. Of course, this was just a simple overview of this new paper. I strongly recommend to read the paper linked in the description for more information. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, 
consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. If you would like to start or improve with machine learning, I've linked all the best online courses in a repertory in the description. Thank you for watching.